Bonjour everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria, we're talking about lichen sclerosis and immune system response to it. Let's go! In the previous video I told you about T cells, a specific lymphocytes that attack your own cells while you have lichen sclerosis. As a medically curious person I would ask, can T cells be stopped? That's the topic of our today's video. Let me just remind you that we have two general types of T-cells, killer T-cells and helper T-cells. Killer T-cells, obviously, it's the T-cells that kill the virus, kill the antigen in the virus-affected cell or should be virus-affected cell, but unfortunately it kills antigens in our own cells of our own body. And helper T-cells just arrange and orchestrate this vicious attack. So let's talk about can T-cells be stopped? Here is a very interesting research of German doctors who tried medically affect the T-cells that have gone crazy. They investigated therapeutic targeting of T-cells that cause IL-17+, and it led them to clinical improvement of mucosal lichen sclerosis, which is directly on your genitals. Their test group consisted of five patients with lichen planus. They treated them with the next three medications. Secukinumab, astekinumab and gusilkumab. The results were tested according to autoimmune bullous intensity skin disorder score, ABCs. The assessment went for 12 weeks and they considered the extent and severity of the disease and complications, especially of oral lichen planus. The lesional and post-lesional skin was analyzed by immunohistochemistry before and after. So I'll put the link down below in the video description so that you could assess this research yourself, but I'll tell you the results. Clinical improvement was accompanied by a strong reduction of Th1, Th17, T cells, mucosal infiltrates. Moreover, one patient who was taking ostekinumab was absolutely lesion free after this kind of treatment. And the quantity of his IL17 plus T cells was significantly reduced, which means that the autoimmune answer of the T lymphocytes was generally subdued. The latest news of 2021, the scientists actually recognized the type of T-cells that assaults the healthy tissues of the body, which potentially can lead to inventing the medicine that have also a potential of curing cancer, not only lichen sclerosis. So that you understand, it's a major step forward of understanding the nature of autoimmune disease and when we know the reason, the nature, we can find a cure. So the T cell that was called Tregs sports the protein that called CD4. The newer T cells that were discovered recently distinguished by a different protein that is called CD8. CD8 T cells are best known for killing cancerous cells, but when they experimented on mice, these CD8 cells actually killed T cells that were orchestrating the autoimmune responses. Jane Lee, a postdoc in the laboratory of immunologist Mark Davis in Stanford University School of Medicine, measured the abundance of these T cells of CD8 in patients with lichen sclerosis, multiple sclerosis, lupus, and celiac disease. And these cells were more common in patients with these diseases than in patients with healthy organism. By the way, did you know that immune overreaction to the new cells of COVID-19 was the most famous cause of killing so many patients with that? So basically, this CD8 
T-cells is the future of treating lichen sclerosis, cancer and other autoimmune diseases because if some medicine can target CD4 directly, that will be a nice attempt to rein the overactive immune system. This is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to know something else about our immune system and lichen sclerosis. Ciao everyone!